It's a big day for my Madam Grace today. It's harvest time for her taro or gabi. Magluluto siya. She'll be cooking and showing us the Ilocano way, her way of cooking fresh taro in coconut milk, of course. And instead of alamang, we will be using something more special. Join us and find out. Let's enjoy my Madam Grace's Ginataan Gabi. You're watching Chal Huan Kitchen and Garden. A channel dedicated to garden to plate experience. In this channel, we grow, cook, and share. Please join us here at the garden. Warm welcome to you. We need to wash the lower part of the stalks since they are closer to the dirt. They can be dirty. And let's scan the uh, gabi or taro stalks. Observe how Mana Grace does it. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. Click the bell icon so that you won't miss any upload. Thank you. And she also mentioned that it's good. It's advisable to use gloves. Otherwise, you end up with violet hands. Nakakamancha daw. Generally, the Bicolanos would not stir fry. They would simply boil the coconut milk along with the pork and the spices. But Mana Grace is stir-frying. Please refer to the description box for the complete ingredients. Let's wait as she prepares the garlic. <laughs> you see the gingers here, already uh, julienned, and the uh, onions as well. They have been diced. She's ready. And of course, it's advisable to saute first the onions. We don't want the garlic to burn, so add them. Second. But you already there. Pagkatapos, Ano ang isusunod natin? She will be adding the ginger. I think she already did. The camera missed it. <laughs> and what is ginataan without a pepper? So we are adding yellow pepper here. It's more powerful than the lubuyo. Uh, you've been warned. And some salt to accelerate caramelization of the spices. Mainly the onion. Pagkatapos isunod natin ang nasang kutsana. Na carne, ng baboy. It's been parboiled, so it's uh, easy. And generous amount of coconut milk. To be honest, this is too much. Manang Grace says it's more than enough. It's imagine one liter. Half liter should have been enough. And we add this baguong anchovy with patis, and we're going to dissolve it or dissolve the combination in this uh, almost boiling uh, coconut milk. The coconut milk is now boiling, so it's easy to dissolve the anchovies. One more time, one more grace. We prefer this over the alamang. That can be very uh, smelly. <laughs> Ilocanos are not uh, accustomed to using uh, alamang. And we add the uh, gabi. And the rest of the anchovies, which are almost dissolved, I'd say. And just let it boil. Common in all traditions, be it be Bicolano or Ilocano, we never stir this once the taro leaves or taro stalks are put. The belief is that magiging makatidao, it will be pricky, and we don't want that. Diba mm, Yes. Also? Oh, yes. I agree. Yes, See? Yes. Even our audience agree. Yes. How about you? Do you believe that? But turning a bit like this is allowed this man and grace. Wait a minute. And since it's cooked, she can stir it. That's what she's saying. It's cooked. Turn off the flame and let's serve. 
and it's served with adobo. It's very creamy, my name Grace. She used more than enough, <laughs> more than required coconut cream, but it's how I like it. I hope you enjoyed our dish today. Samanyo ulit kami dito sa susunod as we bring you more cooking here at the garden. On behalf of my mother, Grace, Shea, audience, Shea Rose, and Mary Roland, thank you. And until next time here on Channel 1, where we grow, cook, and share. Hanggang sumuli.